When it comes to entering and starting cars, the clumsy key fob that was formerly required might one day join the cassette player and other obsolete gadgets in automotive history books. Some major car parts companies claim to have invented keyless entry systems that are connected to cell phones and do not need a key or an electronic fob to use them. In spite of the fact that manufacturers have started offering smartphone apps that enable drivers to unlock or start their cars from a distance, they're still awkward, particularly when a new company launches a product. When Lucid began delivering its sedans last year, they also released an app that lets users operate their Air sedan from their phones. But how has the app's overall performance been? Is it good enough to serve as a replacement for a key fob? And is it possible to make them even better? Stay tuned for today's video as we address these questions. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder, subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. If you design an electric vehicle with a massive 520-mile range, it's all well and good, but if it's difficult to use, buyers will go elsewhere. No such issue seems to emerge for Lucid since the mechanisms that allow drivers and passengers to engage with the air have been created to be both familiar and cutting-edge in their design. It also has buttons, which is a plus. Clearly, the system as a whole, which is referred to by the firm as Lucid UX, was a primary area of concentration for the design team when they built the Air. It's no wonder that the Air sedan interest has been increasing lately, given the company's impressive list of features. Every Lucid Air is equipped with a digital environment that is meant to be simple to use. It's highly straightforward and simple to use, and it integrates effortlessly with your existing devices. From little aspects like the crisp, clean design of the user interface to advanced features such as facial recognition and Alexa voice-enabled commands to tactile components such as buttons and displays, the whole experience will be both helpful and enjoyable. The journey starts the minute you decide to get behind the wheel. Travel planning, sending guidance to a vehicle, finding charging stations along the way, and even preconditioning the temperature are all possible with the Lucid app. You'll soon be able to maintain tabs on things even while you're not there. As you approach the Air Sedan, it identifies your key and welcomes you with the welcome sequence that instantly unlocks the doors, turns on the lights, and extends a handle. After your entrance, face recognition adapts some settings to your specific preferences, ensuring that you're ready to go. The goal was to create a system that was as intuitive and simple to use as the other electronic gadgets, like smartphones, tablets, and so on, that people used in their daily lives. And besides, no one wants to be fumbling through many sub-menus on a touchscreen while going at high speeds on the highway. The Air has a variety of tricks up its sleeve to make its functioning as simple as possible, and it all starts with your approach to the automobile. Like we said earlier, there are no such issues while you're sitting within the Lucid. But what about when you're approaching the Air sedan from the outside? The Lucid Air mobile application, which might be used instead of a key fob, and the key fob itself had to be up to industry standards. The initial client experiences were not what the luxury manufacturers had anticipated, given their reputation for meticulous attention to every inch of the user interface and interior design experience. The same cannot be said for their mobile app and key fob user experience, however. There have been reports of users being unable to enter their Lucid accounts to get access to their cars. Another difficulty that the Lucid Air unlocking function is experiencing is that when you approach it using an app or key fob, by default, the Air sedan opens all of the doors, but according to industry standards, it should only open the driver's side door. If just the driver's door is set as the default, the second touch should unlock the other three doors. 
Some customers said that the mobile app had difficulties and that it wouldn't even unlock the doors for them. When they got near to their air, they were not able to open the door. At times, they might even have to pull out the key fob to get into their sedans. If getting into the car wasn't difficult enough, several customers complained about the difficulty of getting out. They were dissatisfied with the fact that the car was unable to lock itself. Some people needed just two seconds on the handle to unlock the door, but others needed more than 30 seconds on the handle. The program seems to be inconsistent in its operation. Even so, the mobile device couldn't fully secure the doors. If the mobile key is unable to unlock and lock the vehicle instantly upon user input, this is cause for serious worry. It's not anything an owner would compromise on since it works every time with different manufacturers and responds immediately every time. For Lucid Air, the key fob appears to be more consistent than the mobile app, but that has to change if you want customer experience to be good. According to Paladin, he experienced a similar experience with a few of Tesla models too, which most likely was addressed with the time, knowing Tesla how they do business. Another issue is that one of the first people to get their hands on the new Air Sedan has reported significant troubles with their trunk when attempting to open it using a key fob or an application. It nearly always gets caught on the side latch when you try to remove it. This has already been reported to Lucid by multiple users and they're looking into the situation. Certainly, this is something for which Lucid deserves to be recognized, and it is this. They have been paying attention to what their consumers have to say, which is much more significant than everything else. The software features might be a little buggy as it is Lucid's first product on the marketplace. The hardware, on the other hand, is in pristine condition. The good news is that these problems can be resolved by software updates, and this is something that the California business can do better in the future. It is really the pinnacle of a dream and years of dedication that has brought the idea to fruition. Although the automobile is not without flaws, one thing is certain. There will be many more revisions of software to come in the future. I'm curious to know whether any of our viewers own a Lucid Air. If so, how has your experience with the car been so far? Has there been some software bugs? And how's your feedback been? It would be awesome if you could leave a comment. John is ecstatic at the idea of purchasing a Lucid Air. It's absolutely the nicest car of any kind. He has solar panels, but there's no backup power in case the grid goes down. He'll have a backup plan once he has a Lucid in his garage. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.